Hello, Mario. AutoCAD Basic 7.2 Layers and Layer States. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, in the AutoCAD environment, there are a huge number of different layers. And these layers can be turned on and off. They're a very powerful part of AutoCAD. And in an area where a lot of people go very wrong very quickly. The key thing to remember is that everything you draw in the drawing should be on the layer that you want it to be on. So before you draw anything, and this is the, the part that people find the most difficult, before you draw anything, first you must determine that you're drawing it on the right layer. Now, for me anyway, it appears my immediate thing is if I want to draw something, I just get in and start drawing lines and what have you. And uh, quite often I forget, you know, or I draw it on the wrong layer. And I spend a lot of time reassigning things to different layers and sorting out the problem. So, like most things, if you, rather than rush in, just... Take some time and think, am I drawing this on the right layer? Do I need to create a new layer for this? And this, that and the other thing. So layers, although they, you know, it's very easy. And it's very easy to have layers of all sorts of names and things. So be very careful with your layer, your layer naming and try to follow a very consistent layer naming regime if, for lack of a better word um, different workplaces in that may have um, particular layers that they use for different things and some uh, CAD bosses are very particular about the layer names and what goes in them and what color they are line thicknesses and all that so just be aware that you know some bosses can be a bit sensitive about their Yes. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's get on with the uh, little exercise. So, um, alrighty. So, task one: draw on and change layers. In this task, you will draw an object on specific layers, as shown here. So, start a new drawing based on. So mechanical, right, so uh, a new drawing, so that means new, okay, there, and we want this template, note that's a DWT file, so we go to our practice files folder here, and course files, and it's the mechanical millimeters, mechanical millimeters dot dwt so there you go that opens up like so all very well and good in the practice files in the home tab layers panel expand the layer control and set the current layer to center so this is the layer control here and you can see because this is a template it's got a number of different layers already set up in there. So we didn't have to go and create that layer. So um, make that the current layer. So there's a number of ways we can do this. We can uh, um, double click on it. And you'll see that it's up in there like so. And um, yeah, that, that we know that's the other one. The other one is you can... Um, I'll just make another layer there like that. Um, there's a little uh, thing here, make current. So you can go here, so you can go make current, and then it's a select an object whose layer has become current. Well, we can't do that because we don't have uh, any objects in there, so we'll just escape out of there. So um, we'll just go up here, and it was center like that. So that's the layer that we wanted. Um, draw a horizontal line 250 
units long near the center of the screen. The line should be gold with a center line style. So um, yes, we see we see here we've got by layer here, and that's the layer color. Uh, the line type is by layer, and that'll be the line type for the layer. And the line weight is by layer, and that'll be the line type for the layer. So 250 mils long. So line. Um, they say a horizontal line. So I just um, I'm just going to turn on ortho. To make it horizontal around about the center and it's 250 okay all right and there it is there and then just get it into the thing there okay all right yes draw a vertical line 250 units long separate from the line you just drew move it so that its midpoint is on the midpoint of the other line okay so um yep alrighty so i'm just gonna do a line like that and i've got it set in ortho 250 yep okay and then um what i want to do is move it so uh right click move find the center line of that and put it on the center line of that so um, what we should get there is um, and it's gold and it's in center line style so draw a vertical line move it so that its midpoint is on the midpoint of there so that um, should uh, do all that for us change the current layer to object so Let's go here and find object double click okay and we'll see here um, that uh, object is white in color and um, we don't quite know what the oh yeah the, the we get an indication of the line type here and the line weight's going to be a bit thicker we can see there um, and so on like that I don't think we can if we click down here it doesn't tell us no we have to click on the layer properties here, um, which is coming up on my second screen. Oh no, it's no, it's not. Um, my layer properties is coming up over here, um, which is uh, that's it there. Oops, it's coming up a bit big. Um, I'll just make it smaller try to and there we go um, so this is layer properties um, I'll make it a bit smaller than that again so uh, oh perhaps not um, needs to be a bit larger that's why I usually have it on the second screen so so this will tell us um, so there's the color, um, which we're in the object layer, which is here. And um, by the way, there's the zero layer. You shouldn't draw anything in the zero layer except to, to do with blocks. It has some very special qualities. Um, so you only ever use, don't use that. Use that um, there. So here's our object layer here. Um, it's on. Um, it's... Um, it's not frozen it's unlocked it's got this um, white color here it's got a continuous line style and it's got a 0.7 thickness okay and so if we use by layer by layer by layer that's what we're going to get so um, I'll just uh, get that out of the way all right so um, draw a circle with radius of 100 at the center point and the circle should be white on a black background or black on a, yeah okay so um well c for circle or you can go there and just note that it said um that it said radius of a hundred so just looking down here a uh, radius is what it's expecting so that's a hundred now you'll notice that that's got a big thick lines type there but not there now that's because if the line weight or line thickness so 
we can turn that on like that and that um, shows us the line thickness like that and even in our drawing there it's not uh, showing like that but um, yeah all right now so change the current layer to hidden okay so here's hidden here and you can see that's uh, green and uh, different line weights there um, draw another circle with radius of 50 at the same thing so well you, I better use this up here I can use C for circle which is my go-to method and that's got a radius of 50 and you can see that that's uh, coming up as a uh, different color draw another circle with the same center it should be blue green with a hidden line style uh, Lael's pen and click make current so this is make current here okay make current and then select the large circle the current layer changes to object so there it is there and up there the layers all change to object which is very good draw another circle with a radius 13 at the same center point okay so um, oh, see for circle that's how I roll uh, and its radius is 13 okay it should be white save the drawing as wheel dot drawing okay so um, yeah you can see that the line um, thicknesses there are, are not showing in the diagrams in the little booklet okay so now file save as uh, and we want to save it in all those uh, work ones which is in uh, my thing there in the night class course files and this one will be called wheel dot drawing wheel dot dwg oh no we don't need the dwg just wheel okay no, and not wheel section one okay so I'm going to save that note how that came up as drawing one because I'd restarted my AutoCAD from previous ones okay save so um, that's it there wheel dot DWG okay in this task now we're going to change the state of the layers so alrighty so make layer zero the current layer okay layer zero which we've done okay use the layer control to toggle off the layer center as shown below so just to turn it off the layer center now this is here now I um, I am always very careful when turning layers off because that turns them off in the whole drawing and it means that they won't print and they can't be selected so especially if you turn them off in model space now obviously I have a lot of forward knowledge about this and I don't really want to explain it in too much detail but I will just say this be don't be very reluctant to turn layers off I seldom use that one but um, we'll have to see what the book says but that's been my experience but anyway I'm going to turn this one off okay uh, so turn off the layer center so we're going to turn that off okay and you'll see that that's they've all disappeared now and the center line should disappear use layer control to freeze the layer hidden okay so hidden is here and freeze it that's going to freeze it okay all right so um, that means that freezes it okay the blue green circle use the layer control to lock the layer object so object is going to be locked okay so the frozen layer is not is not there so nothing will happen to that layer and then when we turn it on yeah it will come back um, try to erase the light but um, the circles on the layer stay displayed 
but slightly grayed out. That's true. Okay. Use the layer and crop. Okay. You cannot edit the circle because it is on the lot. Try to erase the largest circle. So we can't because it's locked. Okay, so it won't locked. Okay, if I go delete, no, it won't won't do it. No, and the little lock comes up. Okay, so. Um, Okay, use layer control to unlock that layer. So um, that layer was object, so unlock it. Yeah. Okay, and so be very careful using these controls and think about them. Okay, uh, erase the largest circle. Okay, so that's there. Okay, oh. Okay, um, oh no, I might have something, I don't know what happened. Okay, all right. So then I'm going to select this circle here, and now I can erase, erase it. Um, so I just push the delete button on there, or we can uh, go erase with the little thing. Yep, that's right. And use the undo to bring it back. Now there's an undo up here. That's the undo. Uh, control U. Um, or I use sometimes Control Z. I must be one's undo and one's Z. Okay, and step back a step. Save and close the drawing. Okay, so file. Save as. Then this is wheel dot drawing and it's in the course files is that right um, just uh, checking back here oh yeah wheel dot drawing save yes okay so that's that all done so there's wheel dot drawing there all saved okay all right and um, that's the uh, that brings us to the end of that uh, little exercise there, which took us through just a few of the rudiments of layering and uh, how layering works. So, um, yeah, uh, again, there's a lot of explanation in there that I'm including that is based on uh, hopefully <laughs> um, based on my experiences anyway. So, uh Yep, all good. Let's um, let's uh, call it a uh, call it a day, um, uh, call it a an end to that video, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.